بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم اللہم رب زدنی علما صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم آمین الحمدللہ رب العالمین In this lecture I will discuss the important past papers questions of composite functions An important advice for me and for everyone We must be good to others Question number 10 is from March 18, paper 1-2. Functions f and g are defined by. This is function f and this is function g and these are the domains of these two functions. One part a, state the range of the function f. We need the range of this function. To find the range of this function f, we need to understand its domain x greater than 2 means x lies between 2 and infinite so we need the corresponding values of f for these two corresponding values of x therefore f of 2 is infinite because when you will substitute 2 here you will get 8 upon 0 which is infinite because constant upon 0 is infinite when we will substitute infinite into this equation of f then we will get 8 upon infinite constant upon infinite is 0 so the answer will be 2 therefore f lies between these two values 2 and infinite this is the range of the function f and this is the better way to write this answer. Both methods are right, but this method is better. One part B. State the range of the function G. We have the domain of this function G. We will find the corresponding values of G for these two values of X. So g of 2 is infinite whereas g of 4 is 6 therefore g lies between 6 and infinite. This answer is fine but this is a better way to write this answer. g of 6 greater than 6. g is greater than 6. This one is better. Next part. C. State the range of the function fg. For this part, we need the expression of fg. So, fg. To find fg, we need to replace this x of f by g. So, we have 8 upon... We are replacing this x by g, which is 8 upon x minus 2 plus 2. And this minus 2 is here. And this plus 2 is here. Well, when you will simplify this, you will get x. The answer is x. So, fg x is x. Now we have to use the domain of G to find the range of F. This is the domain of G. For composite function, we use the domain of this function to find the range of F, G composite function. So, this is the domain of G. We will substitute these values one by one into this equation, equation of fg. So when we will substitute 2 here, this is the equation of fg, x, let me first write the equation, 
the equation is x f g x is equal to x we just have found this so when we will find f g 2 will get 2 when we will find f g 4 will get 4 when we will substitute this 2 into this equation we will get 2 when we will substitute this 4 we will get 4 therefore the range of f g is Two to four. F G lies between two and four. That's the answer of this part. Let me uh, repeat this part. So for the range of composite function, first find the expression for composite function. This is the expression of composite function. Now use the domain of this function to find the range of this function, fg. For the range of this fg, use the domain of g. This is the domain of g. So when you will substitute 2 into this equation, you will get 2. When you will substitute 4 into this equation, you will get 4 therefore the range of fg is 2 to 4 this is the way to find the range of composite function last part of this question explain why this function gf cannot be formed for composite function for any composite function this rule must be verified domain of g the domain of this function must be greater or equal to the range of this function f well if the range of f this function is contained within the domain of this function g then composite function will be formed but here the domain of g is this whereas the range of f is this see this is the range of f since this range is outside uh, to this domain therefore fg cannot be formed since the range of f is outside the domain of g therefore gf cannot be formed so whenever they ask whether composite function given composite function uh, will be formed or not then always check this rule if this rule will be verified that means composite function will be formed otherwise it will never so this is the solution of question number 10 of march 18 paper 1 2this is the uh, fair solution of question number 10next question number nine this question is from june 20 paper 13 the first part of this question we need expression of f of x so you all know how to express this into 
completed the square form. You just need to expand this and then you need to compare the coefficients of like powers of x on both sides for the values of the unknown constants a and b. So by comparing the coefficients of like powers of x on both sides, we have a2 and b minus 1. Make sure you express your answer in this way. You need to substitute a and b here. This is the completed the square form of the function f. Second part of this question. It is given that f is a 1 1 function. Well, for 1 1 function, the function must start from turning point or after the turning point. This function is like this. See, this is the domain of f. And this curve uh, is, or this curve has minimum point. So the coordinates of turning point are 2 comma minus 1. For 1 1 function, the domain should be x greater than 2. So when you will compare this x greater than 2 with this given domain, you will get the value of c. So by comparing these two, we can say c is 2. You can directly write the value of this uh, unknown constant. Whenever it says 1 1 function, then always write the x coordinate of turning point here. This constant is the x coordinate of the turning point. This is the logic. And since uh, x is increasing, we have right side of the turning point. Therefore, we will take plus sign while finding the expression for f inverse. The domain um, of f is now x greater than 5 because this was the domain of f. And in this part, it's given that c is 5. And the range of f will be, first find f of 5, which is 8. Therefore, range of this function must be fx greater than 8. Because this is the sketch of the function f. f is increasing since f is increasing that is why we have greater sign here and this range will help us to write the domain of f inverse so whenever they ask state the domain of f inverse so first find the range of f and then convert this in the uh, domain of f inverse well, we need expression for f inverse. For that, we need to use the completed the square form of f, which is x minus 2 whole square minus 1. Now, we have to replace this by y, and we need to bring 1 on left, right hand, left hand side, and then we need to take a square root. When you will take a square root, make sure you take negative, a positive sign with the root. Why? Because according to this domain, x is increasing. And we have this curve. So when domain has greater sign, we have this type of curve, right side of the turning point. That means x is increasing. So always write plus sign here. Finally, we can replace this by first we have to make x subject. And then we need to replace x by f inverse and this y by x. And this range will become the domain of this function. So x is greater than 8. This is the domain of f inverse. make sure you always use this method to write the domain of this function last part of this question 
find an expression for f g so this is very sorry g f this is very simple we just need to replace uh, x of g this x by f and we will use the completed the square form so for g f we need to replace x of g by f and x of g uh, and f is this x minus 2 whole square minus 1 so when we will simplify this we will get this thing 1 upon x minus 2 whole square that's it so this is the expression of gf now we need the range of gf so for the range of gf we will use the domain of f so use the domain of f for the range of gf the domain of f is x greater than 5 and this x greater than 5 means x lies between 5 and infinite so when we will substitute 5 here then we will get 1 upon 9 5 minus 2 is 3 3 square is 9 and when we will substitute infinite into this equation then we will get 0 because constant upon infinite is 0 therefore the range of g f is 0 and 1 upon 9 so whenever you need the uh, range of this composite function like g f then always use the domain of f You can take the screenshot of this solution if you want. This is the first part, 9 part A and 9 part B. And this is the next page of this question. Next, uh, this is the fair solution of question 9 see this is the express form uh, completed the square form this is the value of c this is the sketch and this is the expression of f inverse you have to take plus sign here this is here this is the range of f and this will become the domain of f inverse this is the expression of gf and here is the range this is another way of writing the range and but this method is simple this one you all can understand this method this x greater than 5 means x lies between 5 and infinite so these are the corresponding values of gf for these values of x therefore range is 0 to 1 upon 9 next question this question is from march 19 question 8 of March 19 first part of this question is very simple we just need to express this into this form so this is very simple I'm doing this directly in order to save time so the answer is x minus 2 whole square plus 3 you have to show the working next part of this question given that f is this this is f where k is a constant state the largest value of k for which f is a decreasing function well decreasing function means gradient must be negative 
so according to this domain this is the sketch of f this is the turning point x coordinate uh, sorry turning point with coordinates 2 comma 3 so see when you will go here you have this part of the curve and see gradient of tangent is negative so when x is so for x less than 2 the function is decreasing that is its differential is negative therefore the value of k must be 2 so when k is 2 then function is decreasing that's the answer next part of this question now given that k is 1 so first write this here f of x x minus 2 whole square plus 3 and the domain is x less than 1 because k is 1 now get the range of this function because for the domain of f inverse we must have range of f inverse f so f of 1 is 4 therefore the range of this function f is fx greater than 4 and this will become the domain of f inverse since we have a left side of the turning point see x is decreasing therefore we will take negative sign while finding the expression of f inverse first replace f of x by y bring minus i mean 3 on left hand side then take square root when you will take square root make sure you put negative sign here why because x is decreasing we have left side of the turning point for this curve and for this curve the left side of turning point always take negative sign well now make x the subject so we have 2 minus under root y minus 3 now replace x by f inverse and y by x so that's the expression for f inverse and this range will become the domain of f inverse see this is very simple always use the range of f for the domain of f inverse never use this ex uh, expression you can check the solution again the first part was very simple we just had to express this into completed the square form second part was important for decreasing function gradient must be negative and if curve will start from here from turning point then uh, f is decreasing and grading gradient of the tangent to the curve will be negative so k is 2 the x coordinate of the turning point here uh, first find a uh, range of f which is fx greater than 4 because f is increasing and this will become the domain of f inverse and make sure you take negative sign while inversing while uh, uh, finding the uh, expression for f inverse next part of this question we need the expression for gf this is simple we just need to replace this x by f so f is x minus 2 whole square plus 3 this is f we have replaced this x by f and this negative one is here 
Now get the simplified form of this. The simplified form of this function is 2 upon x minus 2 whole square plus 2. Now we need the range of gf. This is the third question of this type. So we will use the domain of f for the range of g. The domain of f is x less than 1, which means x lies between 1 and negative infinite. So first we will find g of 1, which is I guess 2 upon 3. Then we will find g of infinite constant upon infinite is 0 so the range of gf will be 0 to 2 upon 3 you can check the solution of this part and you can take this uh, screenshot if you want next question and uh, this is the fair solution of the previous question this is the expression i explained this thing here that when x is less than 2 then function is decreasing therefore k is 2 and take negative sign while taking the root because x is decreasing and this is the range of f and this will become the domain of f inverse and this next part is here now next question of this lecture which is question number four of june 19 paper one three well in this question we have function f for this domain and we have function g and this is the domain of function g Find the greatest value of A and smallest value of B which will permit the formation of composite function GF. Remember I told you GF can only be formed if the domain of G this function is greater or equal to the range of this function F. So first we need the range of f. For that we need to put 3 here and 7 here. So g of sorry f of 3 is 24 and f of 7 is 8. So state the range of f here. It's 8 to 24. Now for the formation of gf this function the smallest values of the domain of g must be these two and since the domain of g is a and b therefore a is 8 and b is 24 so when a is 8 and b 24 then this function can be formed gf and will be formed so this is the way to solve this part we have to uh, consider and we have to take this range as the domain of g because this is the smallest possible values of the domain of g for which this function will be formed now next part of this question we need expression for gf you can easily solve this yourself gf is very simple we need to replace this x by f so 2 times 48 upon x minus 1 minus 4 and this will give you this answer 100 minus 4x over x minus 1 last part we need expression for gf inverse this is very simple we need to replace this gf by y first and then we have to make x subject 
I'm writing this answer directly. 100 plus y, 4 plus y. So this is gf inverse. And replace y by x. That's the answer. So this question is over. You can take the screenshot of the solution if you want. And this is the fair solution of this question. I first found the range of f and then I stated this rule and the smallest possible values will be 8 and 24. This is the expression for gf and this is the expression for gf inverse. I hope this lecture will help you to understand how to find the uh, range of composite functions. Good luck. May Allah Pak, uh, bless. Uh, may Allah Pak make things easy for us. Ameen. Allah Hafiz.